Can I just get you to introduce yourself on camera, please? Uh, my name is Ogre, and uh, I'm in the movie Repo the Genetic Opera playing Pavice Largo. <laughs> and what are you promoting here today? Well, I'm promoting myself and uh, my 30-year career in a band called Skinny Puppy, I guess. And, uh, and of course, Repo the Genetic Opera and uh, the uh, new Devil's Carnival that came out this week on DVD. Tell me a little bit about Devil's Carnival. Devil's Carnival is, uh, uh, is going to be a serial. It's a three-part serial that they're working on. Uh, it's based on Aesop's fables. Uh, the the, uh, the uh, segment that I'm in is based on uh, a, a, a story called The Dog and His Pennies. And it's about a dog crossing the river. The idea is a dog crossing the river is gets greedy, looking at a mouthful of pennies, looks in the river, sees his reflection of a dog with a mouthful of pennies, goes for it and drowns. Oh, wow. That's... Simply put, you know, so, so it's the idea of greed and avarice and this kind of like, you know, taking too much and suffering the consequences. So the idea is that uh, three people kind of um, get uh, caught within their sins and get sent down to hell. And Terence is there as the devil to, to judge them. And they get kind of tortured by carnies into uh, kind of um, perverting themselves, whether they kind of resolve themselves and resolve their sins or uh, further their uh, flight to hell. And that comes out on DVD this week? Out on DVD already, yeah, it comes out on DVD. And I'm also here to promote a movie uh, I did last May called Screen Park, which was done by a bunch of student filmmakers in, uh, in Pennsylvania. It's kind of a throwback to an 80s slasher film. And I had a lot of fun doing that. That's awesome. Okay, now Repo is a big, big cult classic. Um, there's a lot of people that do um, yeah, shadow casts of it, like, um, you know, where they perform in front of the screen. Uh, what do you think makes it such a cult movie, cult classic? Well, I think, you know, the, the funny thing was it came out the box being labeled that, which was uh, a bit of irony because, you know, a cult film doesn't become a cult film until it becomes a cult film for a few years. So they, it was a marketing ploy at first, and, and I think it, uh, it wasn't until Darren took, took the thing out in the road and toured it as a road show that it became kind of culty. And it wasn't until the fans actually embraced it and started doing the shadow cast and kind of, um, you, know, you know, participating in the performances that took it to that culty level. And now it's been five years on, and I think now it's gained a cult status for sure. And, and you know, people are still doing the, the shadow casts, and uh, hopefully it'll remain that way in, in the same way Rocky Horror has, you know. And I hope it has. And I think the reason why is because it's a very eclectic cast. You have people that in time take on a different, you know, when we were making it, there's a big kind of, you know, throwback about Paris Hilton being in it. And yet now, you know, as time goes on, it's kind of the perfect role for her. And so the, the caricatures start becoming more and more ingrained in the, in the real people. And, and, and that it becomes more, I think, of a culty thing based on that. And the fact that there's just so many, such a diverse group of people working on the film. And the fact that it's an opera. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's basically, there's no dialogue. So there's a number of things that kind of, I think, create um, you know, that kind of ambience that, that people latch onto, you know, and, and, uh, and a lot of characters that people can portray in a cosplay sort of thing, too. <laughs> All right, uh, what's next for you? What are you looking at and working on? Uh, I have kind of a project next year that I, it's with a, a female director that uh, I have a ton of respect for. She's, she's from a lineage of directors uh, that I'm just, I'm just thrilled to be working with. I'm not going to say anything about it because it hasn't been announced yet, but it's, uh, it's a really great kind of uh, dark comedy based on uh, the idea of the monster next door. And uh, that a lot of uh, people that are seen as kind of, you know, marginal or weird especially kids, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a way of embracing them all into this world of uh, monsters that look after each other in a lot of ways. So it's kind of a, in a loose way, it's a bit of a, you know, a dark parody of the Twilight films in a way, but not really. It, it, it goes way deeper and, and uh, is, is a very kind of unique thing. And again, the, the director's name I'm not going to give you is, is wonderful and I, I'm, I'm excited about that happening. So. All right, thank you so much. Thank you very much.